welcome friends for store officer exam for drdo which will be connected by upsc so today we'll do detailed analysis of the syllabus so what is meaning of detailed analysis we'll understand what we should be studying what are the sub topics under each keyword of the syllabus which we should be studying so this is the syllabus which has been prescribed by the upsc so i have broadly divided this syllabus into six keywords so those six keywords are english current affairs it also includes international current affairs number 3 general mental ability number 4 indian polity which is named indian union in the syllabus number 5 material management and number 6 is gfr rules so these are the these are the six keywords in which i have divided the entire syllabus uh so guys to do so to do this exercise to find out that what is the boundary of syllabus what we can exclude or what we can include under each of these six keywords what we did for that of course we looked at the previous year papers so uh, store officer drdo paper was previously conducted in 2018 and before that it was done in 2016 but of course we analyzed every question of these two papers every every question to understand and to create a boundary but there is a, there is also something else which we did we also analyze exam of store officer of gsi the store officer paper conducted by upsc but not for drdo for gsi which is geological survey of india which was done in 2018 so why we included uh, this paper also in our analysis 1 2 3 why did we include uh, third paper because the syllabus the pattern the difficulty level the negative marking everything is same when upsc conducts any exam of store officer when upsc conducts any exam of store officer it does not matter whether upsc is hiring store officer for drdo gsi or any other government organization the focus is what is the syllabus of any store officer exam by the upsc so of course we analyzed these three papers but we did not stop there we also looked at other recruitment exams of upsc because anyway we have expertise in different uh, uh, recruitment exams we have been advising people for admin officer exam alc epfo uh, again admin uh, admin officer then esi cdd and so on so we have got uh, we have got deep expertise in recruitment exams of upsc so for example in our syllabus of store officer there is a keyword indian union so of course we can understand indian union from these three papers but indian union keyword is also there in admin officer exam so from there also we can go and understand what is the boundary which can be created to understand the meaning of word indian union similarly another word is general mental uh, ability so guys similarly we have we have done this entire analysis of course see if you are enrolled with us then you need not go through even this video you have to just blindly follow us just do whatever we will ask you to do just study whatever we will ask you to study and you will be ready for the exam however this video is for somebody who is not enrolled with us and who are preparing on their own so they can have a very good idea what they should be studying and what they should not be studying this video is also useful for those guys who are uh, quite eager to know that how we have done how we have analyzed everything at human parameter so what is the way with which we are handling these papers you will also get some insights on that so if you are keen on that then uh, uh, you can also go uh, watch this video otherwise if you are enrolled with us you can skip right now so uh, <clears throat> Uh, so guys there is another video which will uh, discuss weightage of topics like uh, how many questions from which topic and so on so there is another video on that uh, but today focus is under each topic what is the boundary what is the syllabus so let's get started so we'll uh, consider the first keyword now which is english language so guys for any recruitment exam paper of upsc there are nine types of questions which are there under the english language portion so these nine types are 
synonym antonym fill in the blanks and you can uh, uh, pause this uh, video to see them slowly so synonym then antonym then fill in the blanks sporting error fifth is jumbled up sixth is one word substitution seventh is question tag eighth is phrasal verb and ninth is idioms and proverbs so guys you have to focus on these nine types of questions only upsc will not ask you reading comprehension or there are other areas also which are there in english language do not worry about that these nine types of questions only will uh, will uh, help you another thing uh, uh, that uh, see again this uh, type 1 and type 2 synonym and antonym they are depending of course on the vocabulary but the uh, the level of the words the difficulty level of the words in synonym and antonym is not very high so do not now start reading normal lewis if your everyday english is good if you have been reading newspapers you should be okay if you do not come from that background you are like typically from that background where you haven't studied english much then definitely you should be uh, working on building uh, some level of the uh, some level of the vocab so these nine types from the english language i'll come to second topic now second topic is what material management so guys material management is nothing but it's a sub part of production and operations management with people study in their usually in their mba mba courses so some of, some of the keywords around which you should build your syllabus they are inventory management inventory management further has some methods like uh, eoq abc and so on there are other event, inventory methods as well uh, then you should studying material requirement planning master production scheduling bill of material planned order list and all those and all these concepts then quality concepts like jit lean uh, kanban and so on then uh, supply chain management erp of course erp has a lot to do with uh, uh procurement and material management so you you should focus on this then different procurement management option bid process management then material handling equipment equipment material handling equipment then next is export import documentation for example what is a bill of lading then uh, uh then bid process management so so guys these are the broad keywords of course we need to go into deep into each of them to understand uh, what we are so but this should help you in building some boundary around what is expected under topic of material management let's come to part 3 part 3 is general mental ability so some of you because the word general is there some of you might think that it's a easier so do not be under this that impression take this topic also equally seriously treat this also with equal respect this is nothing your this is nothing but your mathematical aptitude or numerical ability and reasoning numerical ability and uh, reasoning so i'll help you uh, in building uh, syllabus for this one so which are the topics under mathematical aptitude which you should uh, which, which you should be studying they are number system like finding remainders unit digit number of zeros etc mensuration geometry ratio proportion simple and compound interest uh, am gm averages mixture and allegation time and work percentage profit and loss and discount time speed and distance races set theory and venn diagram so these are topics of numerical ability then you should be studying these reasoning topics which are number series letter series coding decoding questions on ages calendar relationships odd one out direction seating arrangement and uh, so these are the reasoning topics then there are some other topics also from which questions come rarely but they do come so you so these topics are must for you if you have time do consider these topics as well which are uh, progressions coordinate geometry syllogism uh, probability and permute and permutation and permutations and combinations so questions come from these topics rarely but sometimes they they do come so uh, if you get time uh, spend time on these topics as well let's move on to next topic now which is indian union so guys what is indian union 
सो इंडियन यूनियन इज कंपोज ऑफ कपल ऑफ की वर्ड एंड दो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया ओके वट एल्स देन दे आर हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट विच लेक टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया लाइक डिफरेंट लाइक डिफरेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट लाइक नाइनटीन थर्टी फाइव नाइनटीन नाइनटीन then there were charter acts in 1800 so go through them then your entire developments around 1947 so whatever happened around 1947 uh, around about constituent assembly then uh, interim government was formed so everything which was happened around 1947 that is also included so what else is included in indian indian union so after 1947 reorganization of states okay then you should also focus on uh, different aspects around economic planning after independence for example five year plans and all those things so all these topics together will make up indian union so broadly your 70 to 80% paper will come from indian constitution only which is indian polity also and remaining around 20 to 30 percent labels will be from these uh, topics which i have uh, listed below so this will cover your entire indian union so together you can say that this is nothing but indian polity indian polity from 1800 to till now okay so again uh, what is the summary this is beyond constitution of india do not just be limited to constitution let us now look at fifth topic which is current affairs current affairs plus inter plus international affairs so again guys now uh, current affair is a very vast ocean it's very difficult to decide what to study and what not to study so we also have been doing a lot of work on this area how how we can limit this entire syllabus in fact epfo exam which was done in 2021 so we provide you quite concise content for the current affairs and from those concise uh, booklets only so in current affairs nine question appeared out of 15 in the actual paper so students were quite happy about that anyway so uh, current affairs is a vast ocean so what you can do first thing guys the difficulty level of current affairs for this exam is not same as difficulty level of civil services prelims the level is lesser than that so you need not understand things like in detail you should have factual learning only you should know about because questions are more factual in nature only about current affairs rather than those uh, slightly more difficult questions which you get in civil uh, services exam uh, the question is from when to when you should be studying current affair so our suggestion is that you should be studying current affair from january 2021 to till exam date exam date uh, exam date is yet to come that will be announced by upsc rather exam date minus 2 months so this is the window in which for which you should be doing the current affairs then because international is also included you should also focus on international bodies like un who wto IMF and so on. So questions have been coming from these areas as well. Coming to sixth topic now, which is GFR. So which is General Financial Rules. So guys, GFRs were GFR were released by Department of Expenditure, which is under Ministry of Finance in 2017. Of course, this becomes your primary part of syllabus. Other than this, also you have to understand couple of keywords like what is the budget process in India, then how. P F M S ecosystem works. What is happening around D B T? What D B T mission is doing, which is under cabinet, uh, cabinet, uh, cabinet uh, uh, secretariat, with, uh, which are the various funds with government of India, like uh, uh, contingency fund, uh, your uh, consolidated fund of India, and all those topics. So uh, again, it's quite factual, but very important topic. You uh, you have to remember a lot and. Uh, yeah so this will become your part of gfr which is general financial rules so friends this covers the entire boundary of the syllabus for uh, store officer drdo exam 
of course if you are enrolled with human paritas you need not worry about anything just go through whatever we'll ask you to do and you'll be okay the preparation plan is composed of four components component number 1 first we'll be sending you printed booklets via courier you will be able to cover the entire syllabus very fast with these concise booklets with these booklets you need not run after multiple sources they will provide you most comprehensive coverage of the syllabus and yes current affairs is also included it is our responsibility to provide current affairs till exam date component number 2 our subject matter experts will teach you in online live classes please note that these are not just recorded videos but live online classes which you attend just like a physical class you can talk to the teacher ask your doubts we understand that most of you are working professionals and can miss a few classes because of timings but nothing to worry the recorded videos of all classes are also made available which you can watch any time component number 3 next we will give you access to our online test platform let me show you how it looks we have made available a question bank of more than 6000 questions for store officer exam the question bank includes all previous questions of various upsc exams like civil services nda cda as well as recruitment exams of upsc The question bank has been subdivided in approximately 200 topics. Thus, you have flexibility of practicing only those topics where you feel the need. Every question has not only the answer but a detailed explanation. Thus, these questions are not only to assess you but also to make you learn new concepts with every question. Component number four. Finally, we will make you go through full-length mock test. These tests will be computer based in the same format just like the actual UPSC exam. Please note that if you go through these four components you need not study any other book not even the previous year's paper nothing else. If you are ready to put in your efforts you can depend completely on us for 100% coverage of the syllabus. So go ahead. You can enroll on our website. You can check other details on our website. like the fees duration of course timing of classes demo online classes sample study material etc the link is available in the description below if you have any other queries you may connect directly with our team via whatsapp the link is given in the description below do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel for other useful tips in the future thank you